Hello everyone, I'm Ross, and today we're going to compare assembly.ai to author.ai and to blue.hq.com. When it comes to me, I've been in sales and recruitment for over six years. I've tried multiple AI note-taking tools and I wanna share with you what works the best. Let's get started. So first one, assembly.ai. I think the most important is with all these tools is how they record the meetings. And this is where assembly is similar to Otter is that they send the bots to record your meetings. And in order to for these bots to join your calls, there are different ways. So when you register with assembly, they ask you to give access to your calendar. And then once you give the access, it automatically joins your meetings and record them with the bots. But you can either invite it this way or you can manually invite the assembly bot to record a meeting. And the way it works, you either go to the meeting, copy the URL of the meeting, then go to assembly and invite assembly. And then either through calendar invite or Google Meet, and then I have to paste the URL of the meeting, select the language, and then the bot joins. This is the first way. The second way is that you install their extension, and then when you're on the meeting, you click on the extension, and then invite, okay, you still have to copy-paste the link, What is kind of weird. Why not automatically? Anyway, so now I paste the bot, the link, and then we wait for the bot to join. Let's wait. Finally, I don't know how much time it took, but quite a lot. So now imagine you own all these meetings and you have to manually invite this bot to join for it to, to join, then I admit. And now you have this third party bot pretending to be a person that records a meeting. And uh, similarly to Otter, uh, absolutely similarly. And what I don't like is that even after the meeting is over and you leave the meeting, the bot still stays there and sometimes can be annoying because when there are five six people in the meeting and you need to quickly leave there's both is there and uh okay then there's this message that is being recorded and now let's imagine i want to stop the recording how to do that so we either go to assembly and here it uh it's actually i cannot stop from here what's uh, weird because with author you can so uh one of the most kind of used ways that you just kick it out by going here and then click remove from the call or probably, I assume, if I click right now on the extension, yes. Okay, pause, verify, stop. I stop. Now let's wait. We have to wait for the board to leave the meeting. You can see it took it like five, six seconds to leave the meeting. What's again, quite annoying. Okay, now I want to get the link to the recording. That's what we need, right? We hit the record, maybe you want to share or you want to get access or you want to read the transcription. How to get it? You have to go back to assembly, then let's update the page. Where is the recording? Okay, this is, or this, today. Okay, let's click on it. What we get once we record it? Okay, first of all, we have to wait four minutes, four minutes to get the link to the transcription and like uh, what just, is like 30 seconds recording and that's extremely annoying then there's Thank and what the meeting if it opens it in separate page again not super shareable how i'm going to share it with someone i need to wait for the transcription and that let's just not wait and go to one of the meetings that i already uploaded so i think this is this one and here you can see what the end result once someone is uh, recorded so you get the summary of the meeting the outline so there are different templates that it, it's using uh, my notes i can add some stuff okay then here on the bottom side if i want to watch the video again i click it opens the day today yeah it opens this link and uh, i was your day today just uh basically listen to the audio if i want the transcript i click here to the transcription i can navigate the video by navigating the transcription i hope no no okay I great like, yes, of course, it's very rated chain. Like that. And then here you can search for words or phrases, and then there are tasks. This is something that kind of differentiates assembly from other tools. I, I, I like this part because basically if you go here, you can see that after the meeting is over, it creates these tasks. It uh, outlines the most important part and then who the task is assigned to. You can copy this as a text. You can copy the link to the task, share with someone. So if people open this, they open it as a as a video and as directly to this task. And then there's the full transcript of the meeting, right? And meeting notes. That's how it works. If we go to the platform itself, this is what you see. So when you click my meetings, you have these cards 
which is uh, quite hard to navigate. Now imagine if you have like 50 meetings recorded there, not very intuitive. Then you can see what's uh, shared with you, all of your tasks from all of the meetings. Imagine again, once you have like 20 meetings or 10 meetings, you have all these tasks here, my bookmarks, my automations. This is quite nice. This is different from other tools is that here you can create automation. So your tasks can automatically go to one of the tools that you select, like ClickUp, Copper, Asana. You can select uh, different types of automation with a Zapier or custom. And uh, if I go to automations here, okay. And analytics, analytics, I have to upgrade. And now let's talk about pricing. Let's see how much I would have to pay for that tool. So if I go to the monthly plan for individuals, I think uh, for basically for zero dollars per month, what do you get? Uh, you get uh, online recordings, only one hour of recording per, uh, yeah, only one hour of recording and then meeting history only 12 hours. So that's not enough. It's just to try it, right? But then it's professional. With professional, you get the member limit. So only you can use the tool and then uh, credits for chatbots and upload. So there are different limitations on video capture, for example, it's only 12 videos that you can record for audio and other stuff, it's unlimited. And uh, basically, if you don't use it that often, that's probably enough. But if you want to really record all of your videos and other stuff, you need to go for $29 per month. This is where you get like, you can add your team members, unlimited videos, unlimited recordings. And uh, that's, uh, that's basically it. So I'm right now on $15 per month and you can see I don't have analytics and automation. If I want to have that, I have to pay for the premium. Okay, now let's take a look at Blue Dot. Blue Dot is the one and only bot free recorder. It's truly revolutionary because all other tools are using these external bots and with Blue Dot, you just have to install the extension. Once it's done, you basically click here on the extension, select the language, select if you wanna record video and audio or audio only, and then click start capture. That's it. The recording just started in a millisecond. You don't have to wait for anything. No one sees that there is external bot it's just like so intuitive, or you can even click on the shortcut on my MacBook, it's Command Shift S. You click Command Shift S and it starts the recording. If you wanna stop the recording, you either click here on the extension, click stop, uh, just resume, or you click here and uh, not pause, finish. Once you click finish, you immediately get the link to the recording, which is private, accessible only to you, but you can quickly share it here, right? Immediately, you get the video in a millisecond, right from here. No, you don't have to wait. You just have to wait a little bit for the transcript to pop up, but it's already here. You see how much faster is that compared to assembly. And then there is a summary. Uh, the summary doesn't make sense, but if we go right now to one of the demo videos, so if I go here, so you can see here on the right side, you get the full transcript of the recording with speakers detected. Then on the left side, you have AI summary of the meeting with it generated automatically with the overview of the meeting and then action items who agreed on what and then highlights of the meeting. So Blue Dot understands what are the most important parts that you discussed and then highlights them with a timestamp. So if something is not clear, you can just jump on this moment and watch it. You can jump into any moment by clicking here on the transcript and it would jump into this moment in the video. This is super intuitive, it's super fast. What's cool here is that you have AI insights of the meeting, so who spoke the most, and then talking speed, longest monologue, and questions asked. And here, there are different types of templates that you have with Blue Dot. So you have the general note, just like the one you saw right now, technical note, sales, customer success, recruitment screening, and even custom templates. Custom templates work this way. So imagine you have a meeting where you ask similar questions over and over again, uh, or your meeting notes look in a structured way and you want to get the similar structure from the notes from Blue Dot. So you just name it, for example, like a screening interview. Then the questions that you ask, what is your location? And so on and so on. Write as many questions as you want. You don't have to ask questions the same way during the meeting. You can ask like, where are you based? Blue Dot would still understand the context and it would answer these questions based on the content of the meeting. So once the meeting is over, you immediately get all the answers. You can copy paste and put into your ATS or we, Blue Dot has integration with Notion, with Slack, you can get all the information there. So that was with regards to the meeting notes. And if we go right now to the integrations, Blue Dot has integration with Zoom, with Slack, with HubSpot, with Notion, and it can record your Microsoft Teams in the browser. 
not on desktop, only in the browser. And my favorite and most time-saving feature in Blue Dot is generate AI email. Once the meeting is over, I have so many sales calls, I need to write personalized follow-up messages. It takes me so much time. With Blue Dot, I just click on this button and it generates me the email with all the topics that were discussed. I can immediately send it or use part of it. And it just, it just so, so useful. Let's go back. What differentiates Blue Dot as well from all the other tools is the way how everything is structured. When you're meeting or recorded, they are saved in different collections. Collections have different access. You can share it with your team. You can save, you see how we structure, VC calls, interview calls, like sales calls, all of that structure, all of that is shareable. You can add your colleagues here without paying for that. And if we go right now to screen recording parts, it's last but not least, Blue Dot can record your screen similar way like you do with Loom or any other tool. This extension does two things, record your screen, record your meetings all in one subscription. So that's about Blue Dot. And when it comes to the pricing, you have $18, which is basic. Here you get maximum one hour per recording. You cannot upload the recordings to the platform and you can record audio only. For free, you have only five meetings lifetime so it's a trial that gives you access to all the features so you can see if you need the tool and then the pro the most uh, popular one is 25 dollars per month you get unlimited recordings video on your audio unlimited duration custom meeting templates you can add your colleagues without paying for that as members of your workspace and if you need integration with hubspot or salesforce you have to pay for business it's 39 dollars per month that's about blue dot now let's dive into water so when it comes to water it's similar to assembly. You need to invite external bot to join the call. There are several ways you can do that. So, so with Water, when you log in, you have to connect your calendar. Then this is the interface that you see. It shows you your calendar, all of your meetings. You can set up that it will automatically join all of your meetings or you manually invite the bot. And there are two ways you can do that. One, similar to assembly, you copy the URL, paste it here, uh, invite, and then you have to wait for it to join or you need to install their extension. When it comes to the extension, I want to warn you that it's really not that great. You can see that it's only 2.6 on Chrome store. There are so many people pissed with their bot not joining the call or dropping during the meeting. Just in the middle of the meeting, their bot can drop and your recording will not be saved. So please be careful with water. But now I already installed the extension. So if I want to invite the bot, I have to click on the extension. Where is this extension water here? So if I click on the extension, I get this huge pop-up and then add water pilot. Uh, that's weird why it's not joining. Um, that's uh, water is working on joining a meeting. Now we have to wait for water bot to join the meeting. Let's wait. Finally, I mean, what can be more annoying than waiting for me probably a minute to get your AI note taker to join the meeting? Okay, let's admit. So once you admit, uh, similarly to assembly, there is this third party thing that basically sits there during the meeting. Then there is this pop-up with the transcription. I don't need it. Then you just have your conversation. And if you want to stop the recording, I guess I can stop from here. Can I start from here? I cannot. Okay. So if I want to stop the recording, I have to either kick it out, like I show with assembly. So I have to go here and uh, remove from the call, or I have to go to the platform and then click stop water pilot. Yes, turn it off. So I just turned off, but it's still on the meeting. It will take some time for it to leave the meeting. I don't want to waste time on that. So let's just go to the recording meeting itself. Why is it still recording? I click stop. <laughs> That's so annoying. Uh, stop. Yes, turn it off. As you can see, I click stop and it's still recording. And okay, now it's stopped. Now it's processing the conversation. So if I want to immediately access it, can I? You can see I cannot even like listen to the recording. It's processing audio. Like with Blue Dot, you've seen, right? One second, you get the video, you get the audio. Here you have to wait even for the audio because Otter doesn't record the video. That's the biggest difference. So from all the other tools, the biggest disadvantage, there is no video. There are only the screenshots. It screenshots every 10 seconds, and then it gives you the audio and the transcript. But at least you get the transcript. Okay, so you get the transcript. Uh, summary probably uh, is not gonna be that good. So let's go to one of the recordings, the one I used before. It's a similar one. So you can see here, so when the recording is over, you get the full transcript of the meeting. It uh, recognizes the speakers. Then there is this summary. 
uh, with the action items. And what's cool, uh, similar to Symbol, you can assign these tasks to your colleagues. You can delete them if you don't need. You can basically uh, say yes, ready, com completed. And then there's this transcript. I can edit it. Now I can listen to it. Then there's the screenshots every 10 seconds and AI chat. So AI chat is a cool feature that Otter has because you can basically ask here any question and it would answer it based on the content of the meeting. But the problem is that it would answer you any question. It can really come up with answers. You know, with ChatGPT, it's very often just coming up with answers, hallucinating basically. So be very careful with these answers, but still it's a cool feature. And then when it comes to the uh, interface itself, you can see that here you have homepage. Homepage is where all of your recordings uh, then you have Otter AI chat. They just do it as a separate feature. I don't know why. Like I have my chat GPT to chat with stuff. Then AI, all the conversations and apps. When it comes to the apps, they have integration with Slack, Salesforce, HubSpot, Zoom, Google, quite similar to what Blue Dot has. There is no like complex automations like you get with Assembly. Then there are channels, direct messages. Who I want to message. Like I can, uh, I can message someone. I can message someone. Oh, I didn't even know about that feature. So uh, if you want to message someone from water, you can do that uh, with direct messages. I have no idea why I need this feature. But anyway, let's just stop. And now let's go to the pricing. So if we go right now to the pricing upgrade, you can see that water is uh, 17. It's actually not correct. That's not correct pricing. So water pricing, let's just go to the pricing. Uh, this is the real pricing. So $17 per month for Pro. And here you get almost everything I showed you, but there is a limit. It's uh, 1,200 monthly transcription minutes and 90 minutes per conversation. And if you go uh, want to get more, you have to pay $30 per month. And uh, still, you don't get the video of the recording. It's only audio and it's still this annoying bot that joins your meetings. So that's it. I hope this video was useful for you. Let me know if you have any more questions. Have a good one. Bye.